Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for your attention today. My name is Troy Gibbs, production manager at Western Dubuque Biodiesel. Our company, Western Dubuque Biodiesel, a 30 million gallon facility located in Farley, Iowa, provided the first new hiring opportunity in our town in Mag Hunter in the past 15 years. These are well above average paying jobs. They are two and a half times the minimum wage. Currently, we have a payroll of $1.65 million for our employees for our employees and 2.2 million for our lease drivers. The market will only support half the biodiesel currently produced, and this means potentially half the industry will be laid off or terminated for the next two years. This means a two to $3.8 million loss in revenues that will certainly hurt our local economy and state. I'm here today to share my concerns and frustration with the proposed RBO. Biodiesel brings down the cost of food as we offer value to the waste materials of fats and oils. More biodiesel equals more bean meal as we only use byproduct soy oil that allows for a better crush margin to be passed on to the consumer. We are a diversified feed stock plant. Western Dubuque Biodiesel anticipates that the tax credit will not be in place in the first quarter of 2014. We do not want that fact to factor into our volume requirements. It is not something that the EPA has control over. In fact, EPA is using the loss of the tax credit as a reason to hire to hold biodiesel volumes at the 1.28 billion gallon mark because it believes that our product is dramatically more expensive than diesel fuel. Biodiesel production costs are decreasing and in 2014 with or without the tax credit, we anticipate we will continue to be competitive with diesel fuel. When we run at capacity, our facility is more efficient. Fixed costs will increase significantly with reduced run rates the 26 cents per gallon added cost that is passed on to the customer. Lower RBOs create the opposite effect that the EPA suggested, suggested in its reasoning for the current RBO reduction. Reasoning RBO would allow plant costs as they run increased volumes. 26 cents per gallon at capacity, 33 cents per gallon at 80% capacity, to 52 cents per gallon at 50%. Our company and its 557 local investors have disappointed the EPA in putting on biodiesel in 2014 and 2015 and settling an RBO number of 1.28 billion gallons based on analysis that was completed in 2011 and 2012. We have to provide correct data as we risk fines and now I find out this data wasn't even used because some <coughs> felt it was an easier lift to ignore data that suggested the increase of volumes. It is clear that the EPA has chosen a winner and a loser if the proposed RBO is not changed. The petroleum industry will thrive under this proposal as evidenced by the recent billions made by their companies when news of the RBO reduction was released a few months ago. They will be a clear cut winner. Big Oil receives $17.9 billion in tax subsidies. Did the EPA use that when they calculate the true cost of the consumer? I suspect. Biodiesel is one of the most diverse fuels in the world, producing using a broad mix of resources, including recycled cooking oil, agricultural oils, and animal fats. This has helped shape a nimble industry that is constantly searching for new technologies and feedstocks. Industry demand for new alternatives is stimulating and often financing research on new feedstocks such as algae and camelina. I would like to thank all of you for your time and continued support. RFS. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.